Okay, so in this video, what we're going to do is actually index our data. So at the moment, we just have all of our paragraphs from Meditations by Marcus Aurelius. And to do this, we are going to be using the Elasticsearch document store. So of course, if we're using Elasticsearch, we first need to actually download and install it. So I'm just gonna take you through those steps now. And all we need to do is head on over to this website up here and it's elasticsearch.co and you can see the address just there. Now I'm going to follow the instructions for Windows, but of course, if you're on Linux or Mac, just follow through. It's very similar either way. So here we're going to install it on Windows using the MSI installer. So if we just scroll down here and we can see we can download the package from this link. So download that. And once you download it, just open it and we'll see this window pop up. So once you see this window pop up, we just go through with all of the default settings. So install as a service and continue through. Obviously, if you do need to change anything, change it. But for me, there's nothing here that I want to modify. Notice here we have the HTTP port and we're using 9200. We'll be using that later. We just continue through here, default settings, and then we click install and we just let that install. Okay, so now that we've installed Elasticsearch, we can go ahead and actually check that it's running. So to do that, we're gonna import Python requests. And whenever we interact with Elasticsearch, it's either gonna be through Haystack or it will be through the request library and we'll just interact with the Elasticsearch API. So to check the health of our cluster, so essentially check that it's actually up and running, all we need to do is send a get request to localhost. And if you remember earlier, we had it was port 9200. Of course, if the port on yours was different, modify it, this is just the default value. And after this, we need to reach out to the cluster endpoint, and then we are checking the health. And then we'll just format that as a JSON. So what you should see here is we have our cluster, which is Elasticsearch, it may have a different name if you modified it, but by default it's Elasticsearch. The status is yellow, which basically just means we have one node up and running. You can have multiple nodes in Elasticsearch and for your cluster health to be green, it will expect your shards of indexes to have backup shards across different nodes. And obviously we can't do that if we only have one node, but it's completely fine for us because we're just in development. If you're in production, yes, you'd probably want it to have those backup shards. If none of that made any sense, don't worry about it. We really don't need to know any of that for what we're doing here. Now, what we can also do is we can check if we have any indices already. Now, if I take a look at mine, I will already have some indices set up, which I've just set up prior to recording this. And to check that, we go to localhost again. And this time we want to call the CAT API, which is what we would call whenever we want to see data in a table, human readable format rather than JSON. And what we're checking here are the indices. And we'll just add text onto there so we can actually see that. And this is quite messy. So if we just print it instead, it'll look a bit cleaner. Okay, so you can see I have these two indices. You shouldn't, I don't think, have either of those. No, you won't have either of those, so don't worry about that. Now, what we are going to do is create a new index, which will be called Aurelius, and that is where we will put our documents. 
Now, to actually implement that, we will be going through the Haystack library, which you can pip install farm Haystack. And what we want to do is from Haystack dot document store elastic search import elastic search document store so this is our document store instance and of course this is not aware of our elastic search instance we need to initialize that so we'll store it in a variable called doc store and all we write is elastic search document store now we need to initialize it with the parameters so it knows where to connect to our Elasticsearch instance. So to do that, we write host, and this is localhost. Now, if you have a username and password set, which you don't by default, you will need to enter them in here. I don't have any set, so no worries. And then we also need to specify our index. And at the moment we don't have an Aurelius index and that's fine because this will initialize it for us. So we'll just call it Aurelius. And if we go down here, we can see what it actually did. So it sent a put request to here, localhost 9200 Aurelius. So that's how you create a new index. After that, what we want to do is first import our data. So we have the data here, which I got from this website and process with this script, which you can find on GitHub. I'll keep a link in the description so you can just go and, and copy that if you need to. Now, I haven't really done much to pre-process it. It's pretty straightforward. And all you need to do here is actually open that data. So we do that with open. And from here, that data file is located two folders up in a data folder. It's called meditations.txt. I'm going to be reading that. And all we do is data equals f dot read. And then if we just have a quick look at the first 100 characters there, we see that we have this new line character and that signifies a new paragraph from the text. So what we want to do here is split the data by new line. And then if we check the length of that, see that we have 508 separate paragraphs in there. So what we now want to do is we want to modify this data so that it's in the correct format for Haystack and Elasticsearch. So that format looks like this. So it expects a list of dictionaries where each diction dictionary looks like this. We have the text and inside here we would have our paragraph. So each one of these items here. And then there's another optional field called meta and meta contains a dictionary and in here we can put whatever we want. So for us, I don't think at the moment there's really that much to put into here other than where it came from. So the, the book, or maybe maybe the source is probably a better word to use here. And all of these are coming from meditations. Now, later on, we will probably add a few other books as well, and then the source will be different. And when we return that item from our retriever and our reader, we'll at least be able to see which book it came from. It would be also be pretty cool to maybe include like a page number or something, but at the moment with this, th there are no page numbers included. So 
we don't we're not doing that at the moment so that's the format that we need and it's going to be a list of these so to do that we'll just do some list comprehension so we're going to write this and let's just copy this i think yeah it should be fine we'll, we'll copy this and just indent that and in here we have our paragraph and the source is meditations for all of them and then we just write for paragraph in and data okay so yeah that should work and if we just check what we have here okay so that's that's what we want so we have text we have the paragraph and then in here we have this meta with a source which is always meditations at the moment so that looks pretty good and we'll just double check the length again it should be 508 okay perfect now what we need to do is index all of these documents into our elastic search instance and to do that it's it's super easy. All we do is call docstore because we're doing this through Haystack now. And we do write documents. And we just pass in our data.json. And that should work. Okay, cool. So we can see here what it's done as it's sent a post request to the bulk API. And sent two of them, I assume, because it can only send so many documents at once. So that's pretty cool. And now what I want to check is that we actually have 508 documents in our Elasticsearch instance. So to do that, we're gonna revert back to requests. So we'll do requests.get. Again, go to our local host. 9200 and here we need to specify the index that we want to count the number of entries in and then all we do is add count onto the end there and this will return a JSON object so we do this so that we can see it and sure enough we have 508 items in that document store so if we head on back to our original plan so up here we had meditations we've now got that and we've also set up the first part of our sack over here so elastic now has meditations in there so we can cross that off now the next step is setting up our retriever which we'll cover in the next video so that's everything for this video I hope you enjoyed and I will see you again in the next one.